Hello and welcome back to another How To Jago tutorial. My name's Tom with Master Code Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and set up a post list for the admin. Our custom admin, which we haven't built yet, but it's coming shortly. Um, but like I said before, we're going to hook all our um, views from our blog app into our custom admin or the front end depending on where it's going so with that being said we're gonna go ahead and um, create a post list now this post list will consist of um, all posts so we're not gonna decipher if they're um, published or not published uh, also we're going to um, add some buttons to it like edit and delete and also uh, we'll check to see uh, we'll list out if the post has SEO title and SEO description um, and we can add more features to it down the line uh, more information may how many views that post has or I don't know just trying to think of something real quick but you guys let me know if you guys want to see something specific alright so let's get started uh, we're gonna define a uh, function view and it's gonna be post underscore list underscore admin and a list only takes one argument and that be request all right uh, then we'll have a template and we'll call this template um, well it will come in from our blog directory and it's gonna be post underscore list underscore admin dot HTML and the reason I call it post underscore list underscore admin is because if you look in your templates directory in your blog directory have a post list so we need to use something different since they are going to be slightly different now the next thing we need to do is get all our posts from the database so we'll just uh, create a variable post and then we'll query it with post.objects.all all right that's pretty simple uh then we'll uh, bring in the paginator because you know we're probably going to want to paginate it so we'll do uh pages uh, is equal to pagination um, and request comma post comma uh, let's go with uh, five all right and then our context variable so we'll do context is equal to a dictionary and we're gonna have um, items and then that's gonna take uh, pages and we're gonna slice it at zero the first item in that list and the next one's gonna be uh, page range and we'll do pages the second item so we'll slice it at one all right and then we need to return and render our view so return render request uh, template and context all right sweet so that is our um, view right there all right, so it's going to display all the blog posts. We set up pagin paginator or pagination for this as well. Um, now let's go ahead and I'm going to remove all that stuff. We're going to need to open our URLs.py file, and we need to import that view. So um, uh, let's yeah, we can put it there. Uh, post list admin we'll add that to it and then down here in our custom admin area we're gonna add a new URL so it's gonna be URL raw string our carrot and then we're gonna say uh, what do I want to call this um, we'll call it post list forward slash dollar sign then uh, post list admin function name is going to be uh, um, post underscore list admin just like that all right so now we got our URL and the last but not least let's get and create our template so right click on your blog uh, your blog directory inside your templates and we'll create a file and what did we call this now that I forget already um, post underscore list underscore admin dot html and in here we're going to extends base oops, extends base dot html and percent uh, curly brace and then block content just like 
that. We've seen all this before. We'll end block. All right. In here, we're going to create a table. Um, and then we're going to pass our values to the table. So we're going to use Bootstrap version 4's table. Uh, you can look that if you want. I'm going to try to type this out as quick as possible so don't waste your time. So we're going to do table. And it's going to take a class of... Uh, we're going to... We'll go ahead and uh, t head dark uh, hyphen dark like that, and then um, oh wait, my bad, that doesn't go there. This goes like I said. I'm gonna try to be so fast and I'm end up being slow. All right, so that's what goes there. Table is class table, and then we do our t head. And that's going to take a class of, what did I just say? Um, T head dark, like that. And in here, we're going to have a table row and then our table headers. We're going to have scope and we're going to have call. And then we're going to get the first one we're going to get is the primary key. All right. Now I'm going to copy these. And paste them then we'll just change them because I don't feel like typing this every time so copy and um, bah, bah, bah. we'll get post title like that um, slug that might be a useful one to have so you know where to find it uh, what else SEO title uh, we'll just indicate if there's an SEO, SEO title by saying yes or no. Uh, probably be smart of us to bring in something like Font Awesome and have a check mark or an X and change the color. That's up to you guys. It's beyond the scope of this uh, of these tutorials because we don't like updating CSS and HTML. Uh, next one's gonna be SEO description. Be the same. Does it have one or doesn't it have one? Um, then we're going to bring something new in, but we won't set these up until we actually set up these pages. We're going to have an edit and a delete button. This way we can uh, edit or delete our posts. So we'll set that up. All right. And then outside the T head down here, we're going to go ahead and um, T body. Oops, not title. T body. Sorry, I'm trying to run off the top of my head what uh, portions of the table it is. All right, now we need a table row, so TR. And then we're going to need TD for table data. TD. Actually, we need a for loop outside the table row. So let's go ahead and create that for loop. So we're going to say for item in items. We're going to loop through it, and that will close our for loop under the closing table row. So n4, n4, like that. And then in here, we're going to go ahead and do table data. And the table data we're going to put in is going to be uh, first one's primary key, so item.pk. Um, if you're wondering where I got primary key that is actually created by Django. We don't have to create that uh, that field in our database. All right, so next one's gonna be post title. So we'll do uh, TD and then item.title. Um, next one's slug, slug, TD, item.slug. Uh, next one is going to be TD uh, SEO title. Sorry about that. I got distracted for a second. So let's go ahead and we're going to have an if statement here. And basically, if item dot SEO underscore title. So if it exists, we're going to do something. And what we're going to do is just put yes. And then we're going to have an else statement, else, and we're just going to say no. And then we'll have end if. Okay. 
And we'll copy this. Well, actually, we'll just copy this whole line right here. And we're going to do the same thing for the next line for SEO description. We'll just change this to description. And then we're going to need our edit and delete buttons. So we'll do table data. And we're going to do um, button. And we're going to do class. BTN, BTN, warning, and then we'll do um, one more time. So we'll just go ahead and copy it. And we'll just change this one to danger, danger, and we'll just put it in here, edit, and delete. So let's go ahead and check it out and see what our new view looks like. We'll go over here and we'll just go ahead and put in the URL as post list. So this will be post list like that. And there you go. We got a nice little table um, with the intro to Python, intro to Django, how to Python, list title, blah, blah, blah. One thing we did forget in here is we need to include our page nation. So we're going to go ahead and just do uh, include uh, page nation.html. And there we go. What do we set that to? Um, set the five we have one, two, three, four, five. Let's set this to like three just to make sure this works properly. I'm going to refresh our page here, and of course my server is being slow. Come on, wake up. There we go. And we'll go ahead and refresh. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So they're all different. All right, so that did work. If you guys have any questions about uh, how to create your custom list, admin, custom admin list, of post, I guess you would call it. Uh, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial where we actually uh, make views for these uh, buttons here. We'll make an edit and we'll also make a delete. So I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a nice day. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.